Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, November the 3rd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 138, and Revelation chapter 13, verse 11 to 18. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I thank you, Most High, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Alleluia. Psalm 138. I thank you, Most High, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I bless you, and I adore you before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which exceed all we ever knew of you. On the day I called you answered, you increased the strength of my soul. All the rulers on earth shall thank you. When they hear the words of your mouth, they shall sing of your ways. How great is your glory. You are high, and yet look on the lowly and the haughty you know from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I thank you, Most High, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Revelation, chapter 13, beginning at verse 11. Then I saw another beast that rose out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. It exercises all the authority of the first beast on its behalf, and it makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose mortal wound had been healed. It performs great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in the sight of all, and by the, sign, and by the signs that it is allowed to perform on behalf of the beast, it deceives the inhabitants of the earth telling them to make an image for the beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet lived. And it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast could even speak and cause those who could not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Also, it causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead so that no one can buy or sell who does not have the mark. That is, the name of the beast, or the number of its name. He call, This calls for wisdom. Let anyone with understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a person. Its number is 666. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, O sovereign God, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe of your work. Alleluia, the prophet's prayer. O sovereign God, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe of your work. In our own time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. In wrath, may you remember mercy. You came from Taman, from Mount Paran. Your glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of your praise. Your brightness was like the sun. Rays came forth from your hand, where your power lay hidden. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O sovereign God, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe of all your work. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.